Okay, so I have the Best Buy from Malton in here. And I have two trucks in here. Take a look at this. The Million Dollar House in Medford, New Jersey. And I spend like $11,000, $15,000, whatever the hell it is, on um, to get this TV. So I have an 80-inch TV that's supposed to go in my bedroom. And if you take a look at this, they gave me the wrong TV. We ordered a black one. We waited for two weeks to get this thing done. And you know what? They totally messed this whole situation up. And this has been the biggest nightmare that I've had dealing with this company. Again, so we have this here. If we take a look, we're living like refugees right now because we're getting this, this bedroom done. So we have all our stuff out here. So take a look at this bedroom. Okay, so we almost have a $50,000 bedroom. And right over here, we're supposed to be putting in this big TV. So it's just been problem after problem after problem. So if you take a look at this whole place right here, they didn't have the stuff the right way. They had us waiting for two and a half weeks to install the uh, TV. They came in. They didn't know where they were going to do it. Their install guy basically suggested one way. They came in and they totally did different stuff. They got the speakers here that are in wall, speakers in wall, speaker in the ceiling. And then they're having the other speaker right here. So again, when you spend this much money on the room, it's almost $50,000 in this room, uh, you want it to be the right way. And if we do everything we're supposed to do, and we turn around and go to Best Buy, and we spend you know, between eleven dollars and $15,000 in the equipment, every possible aspect of this situation has been a nightmare from the install, from waiting, from them forgetting parts, from dissension between the install team and the person that scattered out the stuff. I mean, the in-store experience, this has been a horrible experience with Best Buy. So shame on you, Best Buy. And again, anybody else trying to go through the Geek Squad, they're horrible.